day two of self-isolation. And, um, well, uh, can I tell them? There's been some crying from her. And I don't know, did you, yeah, go ahead. I didn't know if you wanted to talk about it because I feel like, you know, this whole Here's the thing. Oh, okay. I have two teenagers. One is actually almost an adult who yeah. was home for spring break when her college was canceled. So her car and all of her clothes are stuck in Virginia. I also have a 17 year old who's a senior in high school. So she's just found out in about four days that she's missing her prom. Trip to Israel, graduation's probably gonna happen on Skype. Yeah. Now, I don't know if anybody else out there has teenagers, but I can only liken their need to get out of self-isolation to um, 28 days later when people's eyes turn to blood and then they start yeah. eating each other. That's about the level where we are right now. Yeah. Again, you know, we live in, in a garage, so it's a little tight. Well, it's a, what, hold on. It's a super chic, fabulous guest house. Super grateful for it. So, yeah, I, mean, but, I know you're grateful, but I just, I don't want you to let them, it's, it's super. So can I make a plea to parents of teenagers? Can you try to explain to them that even though their frontal cortexes have not formed and they don't understand the difference between risk and reward, if they could all just make a pact to self-isolate, yeah. then we could actually have them all get together with their friends and self-isolate yeah, together. They their own little Fort Lauderdale. But the longer garage. they go out and expose themselves, the longer they're gonna be apart. That's all I'm saying. Right, but isolate for a week and we'll invite you all over for a party. They even host their own little graduation. I don't know, Oh. but we can't. Or even a prom. Or even a prom, oh, we could be chaperones. Mm -hmm. um, in the meantime, can I, can I just weigh in on, on what it's like to have young kids oh, well, and why tweens. Not? So I just, I, you know, I have two younger kids who one is in middle school in sixth grade and one is in fourth grade and it was their first day of home learning. And you know, I'm on the hook for like teaching. So it was really hard. So a lot of running up and down the stairs and helping out a lot of technical stuff that I'm not great at. And you know, and it was hours and hours and hours. I can't believe they're learning for that long every day. I'm really impressed. But at the end of the day, I feel really good about our first day. And I think it went really, 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 really well. And I'm proud. <laughs> what? <gasps> okay. It's gonna be fine. We'll be back tomorrow.